Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Breakfast with Sergio. Today, I want to talk about how to publish an artist book, how to self-publish an artist book. And my friends, my breakfast today is nothing else than two delicious homemade uh, French toast. French toast smell great. I love French toast. I can have them every morning, but uh, it's, it's just something that I really like them. So that's what I'm gonna have for breakfast this morning. What are you having for breakfast? I always enjoy listening and reading what you have for breakfast. Well, my friend, today I wanna to talk about, again, how to publish, self-publish an artist's book. This is something that now we have the ability to do it as artists. There's many things you can do with books. You can really uh, market yourself with books. And it's a great marketing tool. Uh, I have done this many times for, uh, you know, for myself as an artist as well as an artist, uh, I mean, I've used uh, books to promote exhibitions, I've used books to celebrate bodies of work, I have used books also to um, uh, document exhibitions that I have curated, I have used books as well to use as um, marketing promotion, and also I have used books uh, to use uh, as exhibition proposals, you know, to go along with an exhibition proposal. That's what I was trying to think. So my friend, you know, making books today is super easy. Uh, in Back in the days, you know, it was super expensive to make a book. You know, you needed to print a thousand, five, at least 500, a thousand, two thousand to even make worthwhile the effort. Um, so you had to have a lot of money up front in order to make the books. And, you know, you just were never always sure about the quality of the book that you were going to get in your hands until all of them were printed or approved was made and so on. Well, today, you know, this is uh, 2018 and it is a lot easier to make an artist book. There are online platforms that print on demand, book, which is books on demand. Uh, platforms like Blurb.com, Hulu.com. There are others, Amazon as well, Amazon.com. And there are others that are new. Uh, and others that have been doing this for a while, in which you, all you have to do is you just go online, you um, create an account, and then you can make your book. So there are options. Uh, if you have experience, for example, with layout and design, you can create your book in InDesign, follow the instructions from the, that the platform gives you on how to set it up, make sure that it's the right size, the right guidelines, the right margins, the right pagination, and then you upload your PDF, your finished PDF, you upload it to the platform. Uh, and what happens then, you can order, you know, one book, three books, 20 books. Again, uh, it is more expensive per book as if you were going to do, let's say, I don't know, uh, 500 books, then you will go with offset printing rather than on-demand printing. But this just gives an, an option and an opportunity uh, for any artist to make a book available. Let's say you're gonna have an exhibition and you want to document the work, the show in a book, so then you can have the book available during the exhibition, you can do that. You can do that through Blur, for example. So you can create a catalog and then you have the books ready. You can order five, six copies to have at the desk and the gallery, uh, you know, and that people can buy right there, or, you know, they can order online. You can also pre-sell them online as well. Put a link from your website uh, and also share them in social media. Something that all these platforms give you is they give you a link. So once the file is uploaded, you can share the link. Uh, you can embed it in your website. Uh, platforms like Blur, for example, allow you to create the book and then also have the preview on your website in a small size where people can browse through the pages. I mean, there's a lot of really neat options that you have available for yourself as an artist. If this is something you want to do, which I highly recommend for you guys to do, um, you know, to create a book. How do you can use then the book as a marketing piece? Well, like I said, you can use it for an exhibition. You can uh, create a book of your latest body of work, for example, and then use it. You're not gonna just give it away because you know they are quite expensive per book, right? It all depends how many pages you have. It all depends also on the size of the book. There are smaller books, there are larger books. There are also, you can get a table, um, coffee table, hardcover book. For example, this one I made for an exhibition I curated. Beautiful size book, but you know, it was quite expensive to make, right? Uh, but it really documented a show that I uh, curated in my gallery a few years ago. So, you know, how you can use it then as marketing, uh, what I recommend artists to do and what I recommend you to do is you create a book, 
right? Order maybe five copies for you. Always have one in your suitcase or in your purse, or you can you know, get a smaller one if you want, maybe easier to carry around. Uh, always have it with you uh, when possible, when you go places, when you go openings, when you go anywhere you go. And anyone that asks you what kind of work you make, you can pull the book and you can show them the book. There's something about a book that is just so nice to, to have and to hold in your hands. Something about a book that is just a lot, a lot nicer than you know, looking at a screen on a phone, right? Uh, the person holding the book, it just gives you a, a much beautiful presentation as an artist, it gives you a more more professional presentation as an artist. When you're traveling as well, you know, you're going to another city and so on, always bring a book with you. Again, you never know who you're gonna meet, you never know who you may going to um, come across with that you know you can use this book to show them the work that you do. Another thing that I do with the books uh, that I use it really well uh, is when proposing an exhibition, then I can create a book that goes along with the proposal. So the proposal already has a, a catalog for the show, has a catalog. Uh, another thing that I recommend you to do is if you're gonna do a book, you know, take the time to do it, don't rush it, take the time, make sure that your photographs are high quality, high resolution, they are beautiful, they are clean, they're colorful, uh, they are really nice because really what makes the work uh, the the book work well is the quality of your images. So you gotta have beautiful presentation, beautiful images in order to get a nice looking book. Um, also, I recommend to maybe ask somebody to write a small statement that you can include in your book. A lot of times in the books that I make, you know, it's not only I have maybe a little text, my art statement or maybe my bio, but also depends on the book, I may ask somebody to write something about my work or about the work that I have in the book. And you know, that's a great way to again, add more, more value to the book that you have. The nice thing about these books is that you can order more over time. So, you know, when you run a book, you can order another five and, and you know, so on. So you, all, you have the opportunity, the ability to always keep ordering books as you need them. And my friend, this is a great way to, to use as a marketing piece, a great way to document what you're doing as an artist. I really think you should do it um, and really consider making a book uh, of what you are doing right now or the recent body of work that you have done. I am actually in the process of making a book right now and I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna go with on demand or traditional printing. I'm still kind of deciding, looking at the options. I'm making a book uh, for 2018 that documents all the shows that I have in 2018 instead of making a book of a specific show. I'm doing a whole one year doc documentary of my activity as an artist. I'm gonna try that. Maybe this is something I will do every year. At the end of the year, have a book that celebrates all the kind of the new work that I did in the year, the exhibitions and uh, the opportunities that I had over the year. Maybe kind of a great way to document my whole year in one book. So. Again, think about ways in which you can use books. Another way you can do it is get together with two, three artists and you can do a book together. You know, maybe if you, if you have a couple of friends that you think your work looks really uh, well together, hey, maybe why don't you guys make a book together? Then you can share some copies and then you can all use it for marketing of your work as well. And uh, you know, the more people that share it, you know, the, the better you will have uh, opportunities to get the book in other people's hands. So hope you enjoyed this breakfast with Sergio, my friend. Get some books done of your work, uh, get them out there, bring, have them with you and use them as a marketing piece. And my friends, if you enjoyed this episode, share it with your friends, go to my website at theartistnextlevel.com where you can always download and you can access more of the wonderful information we have for artists there. And you can also join my community for artists as well, where you can participate and ask questions and be part of this awesome community that we have.